Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today and that something else amazing happens to you today because you are amazing. I'm gonna pick you up and tell you that you're amazing. As I drive today, I'm thinking about my day and uh, I had a regular day today doing all the things that I do and taught some stuff and, and spent some time with my family. I ate food, took a seven mile walk with my wife, enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, my legs are tired. Uh, and then I got thinking about at, at the fact that as I drive right now, I, I'm driving with a bit of a heavy heart. As I think about the, the, the murder of George Floyd and, and what my thoughts and what my heart is telling me and what my head is telling me about this situation, where my emotions are with all this, all these things. Uh, as I drive here this morning and I, as I, or this afternoon, as I, this morning was kind of sifting through this information as I watched the video, as I read about, you know, the events of, of, of that, that time. And, and then as, as I watched the video again, as I watched this police officer, uh, kneel his entire weight on this guy's neck until he, he choked, literally choked the life out of him. And as I watched this police officer uh, kneel on this guy's throat without a care in his in his eyes, without a, a a any affect on his face whatsoever, no empathy whatsoever, almost like with his hands in his pocket, um, leaning his entire way, almost like he was doing an instructional videos for his partners that were sitting around. All right, guys, now listen. This is how you choke the life out of someone in broad daylight while everybody watches and. This is how you do it without a care in the world. Uh, and, and so that's kind of how, how I felt. I've had a myriad of emotions about it from anger to sadness to rage to, to just bewilderment. Like what the frick is going on here? And, you know, and at, and at one point it kind of brought me to, to tears. And I have, I'm the kind of guy that have, I have no problem crying when I'm sad, crying when I'm happy, uh, maybe even sometimes crying when I'm angry. Uh, but I was thinking about what am I so sad about? A bunch of things. Number one, a human being lost his life at the hands of another human being. A human being lost his life at the hands of someone whose job it is to protect them and to serve them. And this officer was de doing neither one of those things. He was doing the antithesis of, the, of what, what he is employed to do choke the life out of this guy over 20 bucks and it and it, it is amazing to me and I got thinking about my boys as they're out and about doing their day and living their lives and I got thinking about maybe maybe their their necks could be trapped under the knee of, of somebody who's going way beyond his uh, his time. I always say this as a teacher, as I teach and I'm out there and I'm doing my job when I get to the point when I when I don't like kids anymore I should quit. I should retire, and I've had lots of colleagues over the years. It's like, wow, man, it's time for he or she to retire because they obviously don't like this job anymore. They're not enjoying the people that they're here supposed to be serving in this profession. They should go, should go do something else. And here's a guy who's been on the job for 19 years, this officer, and and has obviously been there too long. And if you look at his track record, has had a whole bunch of uh, different circumstances where he's gone way too far with aggression and use of power and he's done it in a way and not been checked and now this time it caused somebody his, his life this time no one this george floyd will never breathe another breath he go, won't go on a, a walk with his his wife he won't be able to enjoy his favorite food or his hobbies or any of that jazz because this guy stayed on the job too long and it's this guy uh, was using his power too much over and over again unchecked and because it went unchecked now there's riots and now there's this because you can only push people so far before they start to push back now do I condone looting and riots and those other things no I don't do I understand it heck yeah I do because part of my heart today was I was feeling real violent I said man let me just come across somebody today that rubs me the wrong way and says the wrong thing to me and I'm gonna freaking snatch the life out of them that's how I felt as a part of it in between my tears and my sadness about this this situation that well it never mind the racial uh, the element uh, that that smack dab in the middle of it the fact that a human being took another human beings life because he was allowed to stay on the job too freaking long 
that bothered me. And then I got thinking about whose responsibility it is my actions are going forward, how I feel and how I treat people. Is the fact that this officer was allowed to stay on the job too long. Should I allow that to dictate how I am, where I go, how I treat people, what I do, the mindset that I have, um, whether I, whether I uh, d decide to have my, my emotional focus drive my day, whether I act towards other people in violence, should I allow this, this police officer who did a crappy job, should I allow him to, to, to drive how I am every day? No, I shouldn't because I'm responsible for me. Uh, and, and so as I got got calmed down from the situation and, and let my kind of emotions sift through all the filters that I have for them, that was my 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 thought process at the end of this. Yeah, I'm I, I'm upset. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, I'm bewildered. But I am also in the in the midst of all that responsible for my behavior. I'm responsible by, uh, on how I treat treat people who come across my path whether they're good to me or whether they whether they whether they aren't and I can tell you for a fact am I a little bit more wearing not really however am I is my thought process is listen I'm not gonna let somebody just choke the life out of me because they want to <laughs> um, but at the end of it all as I go you know, through the rest of my day and I process this situation, I realized that Josh Hughes is in, is in charge of his emotions, he's in charge of his actions and how I treat people. And the fact that other people are way out of whack is not going to be the determiner of, of how I am every single day. We're all responsible for ourselves. Do I hope these officers, uh, do I hope they get charged with murder? Absolutely I do. Do I hope they get prosecuted to the full extent of the law? Absolutely that I, I do. Because that's right and that's fair and it's good. However, am I gonna treat people in, Ill, in an ill manner because of this? No, I'm not gonna. Am I gonna rob and loot and do these things? No, I'm not gonna. Do I understand what, what folks are doing right now? Do I get how they're expressing their displeasure? Yeah, I do. And I want us all to, to, to focus as we go along and, and really think about your level of apathy about this situation. Your level of, oh, um, well, that's a, just another man who's lost his life because someone else decided to, to take it. I guess that's all I have to say. I'm kind of upset about it. But I guess that's all I have to say about it for now. Hope you have a great day. I want you to go out there and max out your situation, treat people well, gain yards in all you do, and do what I'm doing right now, which is take care of your mindset because it matters. That police officer did not take care of his mindset as, as, as a result, George Floyd will never breathe another breath. Love you, peace.